Chris, congratulations. Fabulous performance to, to beat Dimitri there. You must be delighted with that. Just sum it up for us. Yeah, of course. Obviously, there's more the northeast lads. Uh, we're used to playing the, the double star format. Um, it's like our bread and butter up there. So I felt pretty confident going into the game. But um, yeah, it was a solid performance. I was, I was happy with that. Do you feel you bossed it all the way through? Yeah, I wouldn't say I bossed it because my scoring wasn't there early doors. Dimmy's was much better, but the key factor, I, I got away. Um, I didn't go visit without getting off, which it helps along the way as well. So I think that, that pulled it out. Um, I think that's how what helped me get over the line. This is sort of why you've had good runs in previously. Do you get a good feeling when coming back to playing it? Yeah, of course. Obviously, lost in the quarters last year, so I'm open to have another big run um, this year. So, yeah, why not? The form's really good. Bordering on that top 16 again. It's taken you a while to get back there, but you must be delighted where you're positioned at the moment. Yeah, I've worked hard. Um, obviously, a few changes now with new darts, new manufacturer, so getting used to them pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, they're going great, so yeah, hopefully. Wide open tournament. This one always throws up some surprises. Is this the, the second major of the year for, for Hollywood? Yeah, why not? Um, obviously, I'm coming up with kind of, kind of some some kind of form anyway, um, leading up to this, so if I was to go and win it, um, I got that taste of Premier League action last, well, at the start of the year, and obviously you want to go and get get it more often as well, so I'll be trying, I'll be trying my backside off to, to get up there. That Premier League experience that you got across those 16 weeks, is that now showing because the performances were very good, that might not have translated to points, but you really stamped your mark on it, and do you feel that? Yeah, of course. Um, you're playing the best best in the world week in week out and I think if you can't get ex the experience you need by doing that then I don't know what what else you can you can do to get that um, but yeah it's it's given us so much confidence uh, whether I, I where I finished in the league or not um, I think it's given us the confidence I needed to, to go and further my career and hopefully get us up. Chris many congratulations. Cheers, Chris, it's been a real breakout year for you in terms of being on the elite level, winning Masters, obviously the Premier League as well. Are you noticing a, noticing a change in expectation at all? No, uh, I'm, I'm just the same lad with the same expectations. I want to want to get to the top and let's say a few a few changes to my darts, um, new manufacturer. Um, I'll get used to them very soon. They're, they're going they're going as well as I wanted. How how long I've had them so. Yeah, once I get used to them 100%, um, hopefully I can, I can get to the top. How has that process been, switching darts and getting used to a new set? Um, for me, to be honest, it hasn't been as hard as I thought. Um, I was a one-set man, you know, I didn't like changing my darts and, yeah, the change is probably what I needed. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying, enjoying the new change and the new um, challenge. As well as the results? on the board, does it also give you a, a fresh enthusiasm, something new to work with? Yeah, of course. Um, a lot of people, you know, all the, all the fans and that, the, the critics, they, they doubt you, where they say, oh, what, what a time to, yeah, to, chew, to change your, your dart and stuff with big competitions leading up. And sometimes you need that. And I think it's my time. I, I needed it. And like I say, they're, they're going great. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Chris, how pleased are you with the way you held your nerve in the, in the key moments there in those two deciding legs? Yeah, it's to be honest, it's, it's about getting off uh, for me, and I managed to do that well tonight. Um, that I didn't go a visit without getting off. Uh, my cover shot was good for, if I missed 16s straight to 14s, and yeah, I, I worked hard on that, and that's been my preparation leading up to this tournament, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's always nice to, to hit the winning double at the end as well. You're known as a prolific double hitter. Do you think this is an event that suits you? I mean, you've got a pretty good record here. Yeah, definitely. Like I said before, um, we, we've been playing this format for ever since I started darts. It's, it's always a double in, double out, back in the northeast. And um, yeah, I feel comfortable coming into this and playing this format. Um, but best of three, that's different, different kettle of fish. Uh, it's hard, best of three, you've got to get on top from the start and luckily I've done that tonight. MVGR Josh Rock next, probably the, the tie of the round. Michael's been a bit of a nemesis for you in this Grand Prix. Would you fancy another crack at Michael? Yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, 
Yeah, give us a bit of a demolition job at the weekend, but uh, yeah, we'll go again. Um, I'll be ready for whoever comes out of that one. Cheers, Chris. Cheers. Chris, you talk about how comfortable you are in this format. Do you think it's something that should be played a little bit more in the PDC year? <coughs> um, I wouldn't say I've played a lot more. For, for me, it's a bit beneficial, but uh, no, one tournament, double starts enough. Um, maybe the format and an extra set or so, but uh, <laughs> no, it's... Um, it, it's great, like I said, it's my bread and butter back home. It's what we've been brought up on, and uh, yeah, what I think for the rest of the lads who's not used to that, I think one one competition here is enough. You made your debut this year as a full-time Premier League player. We've seen in the past that sometimes people on debut it can real affect them having the Premier League on top of everything else when they're not used to it. But you seem to have caught quite well for it. Like you said, you know, you maybe didn't get the points on the board like you expected, but the performances were there. Do you think that's helped you grow as a player? Yeah, hundred um, percent. I don't feel I was affected. Um, obviously, European tours were a lot different for me. Um, travelling on the well, obviously playing on the Thursday night in the Premier League, travelling on the Friday and playing on the Friday night as well. That was that was tough. But like I said, I put myself in that that position. I agreed to do it, and yeah, I had to get on with it. Um, couldn't whinge. I just had to play through, and I finally got used to that. And uh, yeah, I loved every minute of it. And talking about having to get used to a different schedule, it's been announced that the pro tours are all moving to midweek next year. Is that something that you you like, or would you prefer it to stay at the weekend? Nah, midweek's perfect. <laughs> Mixes in with the football. So <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, no, hey, it's a professional sport. And it's it's got to be classed as a job. So you go to work through the week, not just weekend. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Chris, congratulations. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you.